Hello there, Gemini. Okay, so we're going to see who this is. So someone that's coming into your energy or someone that's thinking about you, someone that you might be feeling, you might not be feeling. We're just going to see who this is. So let's see what we have for you. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. But let's see what's coming out the strongest for Gemini here. What is coming out? Who is this? Come on, give me someone. There we go. Okay, we have a friend. Keeper of trust, companion, support, share and joy. Okay, so we're tapping into a friendship here. Okay, what's on the bottom here? We have blacksmith, forge, melting, shaping, tampering. This could be someone that, I mean, it doesn't have to actually be a, a blacksmith, but it could be this, maybe this person is how you you see them as, or the way they do to do things. They do, they forge ahead. They um, know how to like, shape things work things and, and this could be a person that actually shapes items um, uh, items objects i which I, I always put two words to get i get the weirdest words okay but it could also be maybe they're blacksmith the words you know that might be how you can tell who it is they might be very good at shaping things um making things work somehow okay so we have a friend oh, who wanted to pop out over there this might be a researcher, too, that wanted to pop out. Okay. So, let's get something on this person. Okay. Okay, I really was supposed to stop to take and to have some breakfast, but I, mean, I got up like 5 in the morning, and this is like, it's after 10 in the morning now, and I am starving, but I'm just so into these. I'm really enjoying doing them. I don't want to stop. You know how when you stop something and get back in, it doesn't feel the same? So, I said, I want to make sure you do your reading. Okay, let's see. Gemini, what's going on with this person? So I apologize if you hear a little rumbling in my tummy here. We have a fox. Very uh, slick. Maybe sly. Cunning with the fox. What do you think? What do you get with this fox energy? It, I mean, you might maybe you think they're a deceitful person. Or that you're being played, manipulated. Um, sabotage. It could, it could be something very intriguing, too. I mean, this could be... Uh, foxes are very intelligent. So maybe this person is very intelligent. Maybe they are. Maybe they play with words or something. This could be good or this could be bad. We'll see what the other cards say here. So far... Oh, I want to take this off. I keep on changing. Sorry, I want you to be able to see this better. I think that's better. And then I put that up when I do the letters. I mean, the, the signs because you can't really see them. I'm always adjusting with the light. Okay. So we... Oh, look at this. So this could be someone you work with, maybe. Or it could be a very spiritual soulmate connection, too. This... The fish is, like, resources. Um, it could be abundance. It could be independence. Adaptability. It could be freedom. It could be movement. But it definitely could be a spiritual connection. It could be someone that's self-employed. And has a business mind or something. This could be someone that you work with. Especially the fox. A lot of times people feel in the low Norman deck. Stands for work. So this could be a work situation. Maybe someone you work with. That is a friend. Or you consider a friend. Okay. Ah. But there's something. Some kind of progress forward here. With this person. You know, the, the stork is change. It's always some kind of movement with the stork. It's um, it's a positive change, though. And it could be some kind of delivery of something. They might be giving you something, delivering something to you. It could be movement. It could be relocation. It sometimes even could refer to a baby being delivered. Now, maybe this person wants... This could be someone that you work with, with these cards coming up. And maybe they're trying to... Um, wants to move into the department you're in let's see the blacksmith they could be trying to forge their way into your department to be able to work with you maybe they like the way you work or they want to work with you that could be happening okay so let's see a letter now this is very interesting. It almost feels like it is something to do with someone that you work with. So I would say this could be saying that this person might be, they might put in for the position that was open in your department with the communication, a letter, 
they you know they could have put a bid in for the job or whatever that you know you do in the whatever you know work you do um they could have talked to the supervisor or talked to their supervisor they w could have went to hr um I mean, this could be an email, could be a text, could be a phone call, could be a communication. They could be wanting to reach out to you about something. Okay, let me get one more. Maybe inquiring if you will actually vouch for them to go into your department. Okay, we have here, this is, okay, this is the bouquet. Is it? Wait. Number two, this would be the clover. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this. I wasn't sure what it was. Clover. Okay, so this could be something considered lucky, a surprise. Um, it could be winning money. It could be a change. It could be good fortune. It's uh, taking a gamble. So maybe, maybe you might feel like if you vouch for them, you might be taking a gamble. Maybe you're not sure. Or this might be very lucky here. Interesting read. Okay, we have here, okay, we have a main person here, a main woman. It could be an older woman, too. So a feminine energy, or let's say a main person. Maybe this is someone who's the boss, or, or this could be this person, or this could be you. Um, there's something about a, a main female energy here. Okay, let me see what else we get on this. Try to see what's going on here. Why is the fox here with this friend? Why is the fox here? Three of Swords. Ooh, this person might have betrayed you. And maybe now they're trying to get in your department. I thought this was going to be good. I mean, we did have the good, something good coming out of this. Okay, so maybe there was some kind of betrayal, a stab in the back, and you're not trusting this person. Let's see about the fish. The Queen of Swords. Okay. This person might be very good at conniving, um, making people believe that they are better than what they are or they're nicer than what they are. They're trying to forge your way into something you're doing. And you're coming up as a Queen of Swords. Oh, no, you don't. You're saying, I'm stopping you right there. No, you're not. You're not getting past there. Take another move. I dare you. <laughs> Okay, let's see, get something on the Queen of Swords. Ooh, the calculator. Now, this could be that you work in, like, an accounting department. This could be also saying you know how this person works, and they might be calculating, or they're pushing your buttons. Let's see here. Okay. Let me get the word right away on this Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is definitely, you're like, you're standing, you're, you're like, you're not doing this. No, you're not. Uh-uh. So we have here player Ooh. oh it got the money look the money came out it wasn't supposed to be in there love but since it since it was in the wrong spot i'm taking it anyway this person has a love of money i would say since it came out like that I'll get a couple more so we have mature breakup never Okay, so there's something about this pe person being a player. Maybe they play with someone's love. That, you know, maybe with your love here for them. Maybe there's this really close connection. And it's like they they played with you. There's some kind of mature breakup. And something maybe never again. No, I'm not going to be involved. I don't know. You could rearrange these words how they make sense to you. Okay, so now let's see about this stork. Why is a stork here? Here we go. Ah, feeling trapped about what to do here. Some, somehow, the way this person, they probably made sure that they they went around you or they did something where now you're kind of stuck. You feel like you're stuck, but you're not stuck. So you're in your thoughts about this, feeling that this person trapped you into a situation. But there is a way out. Um, maybe you're going to um, decide to just move on to another department or just... I don't know. That's horrible if you have to move in order to, you know, because of them. But that might be the way. Maybe you feel that's the only way. Maybe with the Eight of Swords and the Storks, it might be saying, okay, 
And you know what? Maybe you're supposed to be someplace else. Maybe there's some place that you could grow more or something that's better for you. Let's see about this letter. I mean, I wouldn't move for someone else, but, you know, maybe there's a better opportunity. You know, weird how things happen. This person might get in, and now they're already in that department. All of a sudden, another job opens up that both of you would rather have. And that might be your chance to take that job. It could be something like that. But see, this person, the way the energy is changing now, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see about this letter. Ah, the devil. I, you know, it's weird. When I put this down, I got the devil is in the details. Ooh. What did they write? They wrote something that probably, I don't know, maybe they wrote something that was not doesn't didn't put you in a good light or something here something maybe they lied hmm of course it could just mean that there's a capricorn you're dealing with or the capricorn that got the um maybe the application or whatever this letter is this letter could be an application could be you know a cover letter could be anything that we're looking at here uh, but something about it i don't like okay let's see about this um this lucky card here, though. This might actually turn in your favor. You might think, oh, this is not good. I don't want this. But you know what? You never know. Things are starting to do that. It's starting to say these people that got away with so much for so long are not getting away with things anymore. So we have here. Oh, look at this. The hermit. So this is might be sending you into. Maybe you might decide, you know what? I think I might start working from home. With this hermit card saying and that might be oh this is great i love working from home so maybe it might be something like that you're looking for answers here the hermit this person might be seeking um something out about you but i would think this is your energy virgo energy but is seeking information is looking for something their hermit goes deep within to find answers let's see what we have on the bottom here Ooh, we have the world endings for new beginnings yeah I almost think that this person is going to be trying to do one thing and it's going to trigger something out. Endings for new beginning, ending of chapter, starting a new one. Completing a cycle. You might be done with this department or whatever this is here. All right. I want to get more on this. Let's see. Why do we have this fox with the three of swords? What's that all about? Yeah, we only go a little bit deeper into this one. What is that all about? Okay, juggling. Someone might be trying to juggle you or juggle something. Trying to make a decision here. The two of pentacles. Trying to balance something out. Oh, I just got dizzy. Is anybody dizzy? Ooh, that was weird. I don't get dizzy. So that's it's someone's energy I'm picking up on. Oh, we have the seven of swords. Yes, you do not trust this person. You do not. They're holding back or you need to hold back from them or you're not you're not say, maybe you're just saying not to say anything but you're going to move on we have here the four yeah you're holding back that's what it is you're holding back because you know this person is trying to juggle something trying to do something okay so that's the case let's look i don't have to get into more of these um this i already think that you're just you feel stuck but you're move on but let, let me do the devil here with this letter okay why is the devil in the letter here The hermit. The magician. Wow. And the ten of pentacles. Commitment. Money. Trying to manifest something and try and do something. Maybe. Uh, yeah, this person might be doing something. Almost feels like they're trying to manifest something or trying to... Um, do something behind your back i'm gonna feel like something like that with this letter or this email or whatever this is i'm sorry i was hoping a more positive reading here but th this might be something you need to know here i mean it's not gonna be for everyone so keep that in mind but we do have the Her virgo energy came up twice with the hermit came up twice so you might be dealing with a virgo could be someone seeking something on their own quietly but they're trying to manifest this ten of pentacles this commitment this money here okay i'm gonna put a few cards on this 
The storks with the eight of swords. Why do you feel stuck? Let's see. The sun. You're, there's going to be clarity. You're going to find out a truth about something. Something's coming to light. Well, we are going to Mercury retrograde. That's when the truth comes out. Oh, the wheel of fortune. And the lovers. Ooh, you know what? This is coming in where whatever's happening here, it might be pushing you into the direction you're supposed to go into. And they might be trying to maybe take your job or do something like that. But it might put you in a position where you find your true love here. This is something that's destined. So they almost might be the nece necessary pawn to put you where, oh, they're going to be so pissed. They're going to be so... <laughs> I love it. Okay, so here we have, yeah, you're going to get some kind of invitation here. The page of wands. There's someone coming to you with an offer. And I, this might be a true love coming in. You're destined for this happiness. And this because of this person. Maybe they always play these games and they just get off on, you know, making other people miserable or taking from others. I work with people like that. They come across as, oh, sweet as can be. They might even look the part, you know. And then... You find out they're the devil in disguise. That's why I feel here. Someone devil in disguise. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got the page of wands here. You're going to get an invitation for something here. Let me get a charm. We have here. Oh, we have a bat. So the bat. Interesting. The bat might. This might. Okay. With the bat. The vibration of the bat. The bats cannot see, but they feel the vibration. So I'm feeling like you're going to feel the vibration of this person. This might come at night with the bat. I don't know. If you have, I always say you guys to have a pen and a pen and write down what the messages you get for you because we be different. But when I get here, the bat, I mean, you could think it's, this person could be actually an ener energy vampire, but I'm feeling like this bat is, you're going to feel the vibration. You're going to, you're going to be, um, connected to what's going on i think you're gonna if you don't actually see it you're gonna feel it you're gonna know it you're gonna trust what you the answers you get let's see about this um page of wands i do think this is good news coming an invitation for you we okay we have freedom and this is a tower and it's future likely yeah so you know what this was meant to happen. It's going to be a shock. It's going to come out of the blue here. But it's going to give you the freedom that you didn't even know you were looking for. <laughs> it's going to work in your favor. I love it. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let me cover this over so I can put my signs down here. Okay, so what signs can you be dealing with? Placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Let's see what we get. Leo. Let me put it over here. Okay, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Gemini. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, and now we'll do the letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last name and they have a middle initial, you know the middle initial, get that also all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have I, I, W. You know, kind of weird. We got the I, I, I felt like this person. It's like I, 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 me, me, me. W, P, G, A, O, S, C, C, Z. Okay, the letters we have for today are I, I, W, P, G, A, O, S, C, C, Z. All right, guys, so that's for reading. Thank you so much. I hope this resonated with you. Um, I appreciate all your love and support. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I, for, for your, um, Oh, I'm all excited now. I don't know. I'm getting all wound up here um, for all your comments and your likes. And thank you for subscribing. And thank you for your, don your donations. And also, thank you so much for choosing me to do personal readings. If anybody wants a personal reading, the information is below in the description box. There's an email address. Send me an email in the email um, section. All you have in the subject section. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't talk. In the subject section, all you have to do is put personal reading. You don't have to put anything else if you don't want to. I will send you back the information and then you can take it from there. You can decide if you want a reading done or not. If you don't want one now, maybe just hang on to the email. You might want one done later. But thank you so much for all your love and support. I love you guys and I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye.